hello everyone and welcome back so in this video uh, we are going to compare uh, what is uh, the javascript we are running in the browser and what is the javascript which we are running in the node.js i mean what is the basic difference we are saying that both are running on chrome v8 engine then what is the major difference uh, in future videos we will talk about node.js architecture there we will get more clarity on top of v8 runtime engine what all things we have but before that we will just try to understand what is the basic difference okay so for browsers yeah browsers we use for interactive web application right on the browsers you show the some kind of a web page some kind of a form or where you show the buttons and different actions happens and then a request comes and go but till now for the node.js you have seen only a particular terminal something look like this right so node.js is some kind of a browser less environment where if you are talking about browser less environment then in that case it is not going to have all the document objects window object or all the browser apis will not be available in the node.js cli okay so node.js is mainly used for the api building backend development and for kind of a cli application development right so it is kind of a node.js you can say it's just a part it's just a logic part it is a pure logic which actually runs on CLI and maintain the different processes run execute different processes right node.js doesn't have a DOM like I said there is no UI right so there is no such thing such as DOM which we can visualize which we can show on the UI like react we have angular we have or a front-end website we have right we are showing something but that is also working on JavaScript it is also working on JavaScript but we don't have anything like UI to visualize things it's just a command line tool so if you have seen that in DOM what we used to do is a document we used to have a document object right then I let me go inside a node console there we used to access document object right if you talk about browser then we used to write document dot query document dot get element by id query selector query selector or all, all these kind of command you will be writing to access the dom object but here we don't have a ui here we don't have a dom so we will not be able to access these objects like document we don't have anything like window okay these things are not there because we are not talking about browser here it is a browser less javascript environment okay so the base javascript engine which is executing the javascript code you are writing here like if you are writing a for loops whatever the code you are writing here let i equal to 10 then you are doing console.log same code if you just type in the chrome console you will also get the same kind of output because the javascript runtime engine is same but we don't have anything like a window object document object and browser apis everything that browser attaches to the window whatever we are attaching that we is not available here it has its own global object process object and all so you can see global and all the things which are attached in the process object like process id uh, the current node process the default directories right all these arguments are here okay so these are actually uh, the main difference if you just wanted to take a look then these are some of the listings available okay browser may have object name global but that is going to be the same as window object node doesn't have a document window object location object or browser apis okay so that is the main difference apart from that what you will use for node.js is you will write some apis or some code in the app.js so here you can write a plain javascript code okay that plain javascript code you will be able to run okay like uh, you can write any kind of a CLI any kind of JavaScript code okay like a uh, like a for loop and you are iterating a loop and printing you are just uh, doing some of the array elements doing a push pop all these kind of operations will be able to do here okay and how you will be executing them wait a second node app.js so what it is doing is in the node process you are passing app.js as an input argument okay 
it will just see what is what need to be executed from app.js it's just a javascript code so it will run that okay if you just wanted to test something you can just go into this console node.js console it is using this current version and you can do any kind of processing it is also same as what you see on the chrome browser chrome console okay i can open it and show it how the chrome console look like So this also we have, it is also running on the same uh, JavaScript engine, but here you can see we have all the things. You can access document object, you can access window object, right? These all the things which are related to browser, you are able to get it. Okay, so that is the major difference. So in the next video, we'll start writing something uh, in Node.js script. 